Okay, in the previous video we looked at adding books to Zotero. Let's have a look and see how we can add journal articles. So I've got a couple of tabs open. This one's on Google Scholar. So again, let's put in a history search. History of social media, for example. And this brings up a list. Some of them are books, some of them are PDFs, some of them are citations. And again, just like with Google Books or Amazon Books, there's a little yellow folder here and we can choose the ones that we want to add. Click OK. Gives us an idea of where we want them to go. Again, I'm going to choose ABC1. And we can see here, instead of a book icon, it's putting a little paper icon to tell us these are journal articles. And where possible, um, Google Scholar also provides the PDF of the full text. So we click Done. And we can see here, they've all been added. And where possible, the PDF of the full text has also been added to our Zotero. So that's Google Scholar. I'm just taking a random database, JSTOR, for example. Uh, do a search on history for JSTOR. Same thing, brings up a big long list of books, articles, etc. Again, we've got the little yellow icon here. We can choose which ones we want to add. You click OK. This one here, going it done, again ABC1. And we can see they've also been added here and here. Now they've came up with a different icon because they're actually a book section, which is why it didn't offer us the PDF. And again, the book, we would need to manually add the place. But for the journal articles, obviously, we don't need to bother putting in a place. Now, Zotero works with many, many, many databases, more than any of the other referencing softwares. But occasionally, you might find a database that doesn't natively work in and it doesn't display the icons here. If that's the case, we can take the title and the author of the article that we want and do a search for it and find it on Google Scholar because we know for sure Google Scholar will probably bring it up and we know for sure that it works with Zotero. Or we can go back to our main Zotero and there's a plus button here and we can manually add journal article and we could copy paste, copy paste, copy paste for author, title, volume, etc, etc. And you can manually create entries as well. Now I'm just going to delete this one, just highlight it, hit delete on the keyboard and it's gone. And that's how Zotero works with journal articles.